but we're done. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. We had three minutes and 30 seconds left on that time ago. <laughs> you gotta go longer. You are amazing. Oh, well, thank you. you. To... Hello, welcome to the Child Care Director Share podcast. I am so excited today. I have my very first guest on our show, Adrian from thrivingchildcare.com. Uh, her and I have talked quite a bit. She's also a listener of our show, which I so appreciate that. She has a show of her own called Child Care Q&A. Is that right? Is it, yep. Daycare uh, Q&A show. Daycare uh -huh. Q&A show. I, I knew yeah. it was close. Um, so um, I uh, talked to her a little bit about coming on a show. She's doing some really interesting things over at thrivingchildcare.com. So um, she is on our show today. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Erica. I, I'm so honored that you invited me to the show today. I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what thrivingchildcare.com is. Some people don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, after 22 years of being a home child care provider, uh, I found myself in a space where I was trying to give back and um, I always enjoyed having conversations with other providers whenever I was at events and I wanted to provide the resources and the experiences without them having to go through the experiences that I'd had. So I started Thriving Child Care about, it's been about eight years now. And um, we start off as a blog and I was, you know, sharing stories and giving um, advice and information on how to run a thriving business, a thriving childcare business. And then we started to branch out and uh, create products and resources that providers could use to help run their business more smoothly, more efficiently, um, and with less work. So uh, we've continued with that. And over the years, we've amassed about, well, it's a little over 400 products now in the shop. And that includes courses and different physical resources and, um, you know, all kinds of things that providers can use to help them build a thriving childcare business. So, yeah. Wow. We have I, I had no idea you had 400 products. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. And so your products are, would they be focused on family child care providers or if you also own a, a licensed child care center? So both. Um, there are some that um, would be focused um, on family child care in the home, but the majority of them would transcend both environments. Okay. Um, products like, you know, we have tuition envelopes. So it makes the tuition um, payment a little smoother um, if parents choose to use checks. I don't know who still uses checks or cash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there's there's quite a bit of overlap, you know, in the industry. Yeah. So we're happy to be able to provide those those right. resources for either either environment. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um. So let's talk a little bit about you know since your expertise is um saving people time and money and energy, uh, which yeah. I also am all about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk a little bit today about AI and how you yeah. can use AI right. to save you time and money in your childcare business. Yes. Um, so yes. let's talk a little bit about that. You want to or share, Adrian, a little bit about how you have used it in the past and why you, or even in the present, I know you've used it in the past and uh -huh. currently use it now. Um, yeah. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Well, um, most people have that have been alive in the last year have noticed the boon in um, AI, generative uh -huh. AI is what it's called, and specifically chat GPT. And I was actually introduced to it by a colleague. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I just, I, I, I found myself very interested in it because of the different ways I had used AI already in my home environment. And um, that includes things like using the Echo Dot, which is the Alexa. I don't want to say her name too loud. She'll wake up. <laughs> She'll be like, hello. <laughs> yeah, let's just start talking. Or Siri on our phones. And a lot of people don't realize that this is 
artificial intelligence. Um, it's just been put in a package that makes it a little bit more user friendly. Um, well, user yeah. friendly, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, with with um, the surgence of um, uh, Chat GPT, we have more access to the actual programming because, of course, if we're talking to the Echo Dot, you you need to formulate it a you know question in a certain way, and it's been trained and limited to to provide certain answers. Well, that is not the case when it comes to the generative AI like platforms like chat GPT. So when I was introduced to it, I um, started to play around with it and started to get really comfortable using it as I would say it's more like my assistant. At one time, Erica, I actually named it. I gave it a name and I can't remember the name right now, but it helped me get more comfortable with interacting with this inanimate type of, you know, um, exchange or communication. Sure. But yeah. the more comfortable I got with talking to it and expressing it and being directly asking it for certain things in a certain way, um, I found more uses for it. Uh, so I have been able to use it to, like I said, act as my assistant. So let's say you have emails that we all check our emails in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, a good many of them are going to require a reply. Mm -hmm. And you, I could absolutely do it. I'm a writer. I could definitely do it. It's the time involved. So I realized that using a platform like ChatGPT could cut down my time um, devoted to tasks like that. So I can respond to emails. I can ask it to respond to this email. Um, if you had sent me an email this morning and you said you needed a reply, I could say, uh, reply to this email, drop, copy and paste your email content into, into the platform and say, please tell Erica, yes, I would love to. And, um, but I need this, this, and this, and I can, I can just say it yeah. and it's going to put it together beautifully. Yeah. And Within seconds, I have the reply I'm ready to send to you in minutes. So you can imagine how this will cut down and help with time management and 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 managing all those tasks that we don't have time to do. You know yeah. what I mean? And we don't. We don't. And, we do. and yeah, and I think too, it really allows you to spend time, not only you, more where you need it, right? Because really, <laughs> our business is all about making connections with people. So Great. the less time in your office and the more time on your floor with your staff, right. with me, greeting your parents, making sure mm -hmm. all the kids are, you know, well adjusted, especially the new kids who, you know, start that day. Um, right. It really, not only does it save you time, but it helps you build a better mm -hmm. business, right? And Absolutely. our business is, is definitely one that needs that human that's touch. Because I know somebody's right. going to come in the comments and be like, well, you know, that's not very personalized. And even mm -hmm. if you send that reply, like you said, if it's time sensitive or you can send out that reply you can always follow up with a personal phone call you know uh, no whatever Absolutely. after but at least you you're you're responding to that person right away exactly. and you're giving them uh -huh. the attention that your customers deserve so Absolutely. it's a little bit of both you've got to it's a it's a tool like anything else right you've got to do those things together to get the right feel right you can't right. just chat every single response right but right. it, mm -hmm. it helps get the ball rolling, like you said, save you time, freeze right. up some of that so you can make those connections with the real people outside of your <laughs> office. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It gives, it saves you all that time. Yeah. It really does. It really does. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Have you, have you ever used uh, artificial intelligence to analyze data? Yes. child care and that's oh my gosh yes so imagine being able to put in input the demographic that is your target audience okay yeah, okay imagine being able to do that and then stating well i have certain a certain number of spots that maybe you realize you're going to have each quarter or throughout the year okay yep. It can analyze what you need to do, like as far as your marketing, you can ask it for a marketing plan, 
based on the demographics. You can ask it for verbiage or specific content that you can use in your ads, in your um, whatever content that you're using, your marketing materials to directly speak to that demographic. So if I say, I'm here in California, right? I'm in uh, the San Fernando Valley of California, specifically in a certain city, right? I can say my demographic is um, uh, families in the San Fernando Valley in this city. Um, how many, I can ask the chat to give me the demographic information. How many families with young children are there in this specific city? Ah. Okay. It's going to pull from the internet this information. Now, you do need to go back and verify, right? Mm -hmm. But you can imagine how powerful that is to have that type of information because now I can target specifically. It's kind of like there's things that we don't we don't realize because it's not our business. But um, if you've ever gone to a different city or a different state and you pulled up, let's say, the Target ad, it's not the same yeah. as the one you saw at home. Sure. You know why? Because those people know who they're marketing to in all the different yeah. markets. Yeah. So the products that they're putting in front of each market are the ones that resonate with that with that market. Yeah. So the same thing applies here. If I want to talk to parents or uh, a certain a certain um, um, target audience in my area, it helps for me to know the ages of the fam the families. Um, some of their likes and dislikes, I can speak to that in my marketing. Yeah, I so, love that. Yeah, being able to use those demographics. Yeah, being able to use those demographics is amazing. And I think not even just your, your your marketing plan, but I can remember when I had to write my business plan from my bank, mm -hmm. and I had to put yeah. in, you know, all of that yeah, demo yeah. info. Can you imagine Janet. how how quick you would be able to put together the framework of a business plan. Yes. Again, like you Thanks. said, you've got to make sure that the numbers are accurate, but the amount yeah. of, of time and, and ease to do a business mm -hmm. plan now compared to 17 oh, years ago is like, yeah, I oh mean, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I was alluding to earlier is the the time savings that you're going to get, the time management that you're going to get. And, and, and just to interject here, yeah. um, Typically, it's not going to get you 100% where you want to go sure. with your content. But if it can get you 80, just like you just said, if you can get the okay. skeleton of that, and I mean, it's going to be a healthy skeleton. Yeah. You're going to do some editing. You yeah. should. But your 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 job is cut down. Your time mm -hmm. devoted to this task is cut down demonstrably. And um, a lot of people don't realize that if you're very specific with the artificial intelligence and tell it how you want this information formatted. It'll bring it back to you in a table form. Wow. Well, yeah. It can, yeah. It can put it in whatever form. You just have to tell it. Basically, it's an do. assistant. It's an assistant. It's an, that's what I was saying. A girl is an assistant. Her. Yeah, it's an assistant. That's why I gave her a name. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so if I'm a child care director, I'm thinking, okay. all right, well, we already have some systems. So how can AI technology integrate with existing child care management systems to help streamline? Like, so have you had people that, because I know you work with lots of different people, um, mm -hmm. how have people like integrated the two with what they have existing with some mm -hmm. AI? Okay, so let's say that we have, we have these systems in place. We have a system in place um, for onboarding our staff, okay? But something's amiss something's not working uh something yeah. is um, missing or it's not enough right so we take this to this platform and we say what can we do here's what we're doing now mm -hmm. okay we're gonna give it we're gonna give it the data what are we doing now okay give it some more information what do we think is not working mm -hmm. okay now i'm gonna directly ask the artificial intelligence based on what i've told you can you give me 10 ways to improve this yeah whatever the system is whatever the process is and it is going to come back with a now like again like i said some of them might miss the mark they may not completely apply because it's a learning um platform 
right? Sure. So depending on the information that it has is the information that it'll give back. And sometimes it will go rogue too. It'll go completely mental and it's like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But more times than not, you're going to get back some very concrete um, applications uh, for the information that it gives you. If yeah, that makes sense. It, it does. Um, so using your example of using it to onboard staff, one mm-hmm. of the things that I like, because I've used a little bit of AI, not a lot. I'm not very tech savvy, which is funny because I've run a podcast. But, you know, um, I know my husband laughs at me. He's like, you barely can figure out how to use a remote. I don't know how you run a company that's worth a couple million dollars. I'm like, I don't know. I, I know what I need to know. Um, but <laughs> I, I really love the bullet point um, feature. Okay. So where you can put in a topic, like you said, staff onboarding. What do I need? <laughs> to put together for an effective onboarding child care uh, for my child care place. And it will give you all these bullets. And it's so yeah. quick and easy to go, oh, my God, we missed this, 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 and this, yes. right? Um, yes. Yeah. So I, uh, I, that's one of the things I do use is the, 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 the bullet one and the checklist one. Those are really great tools. Imagine taking whatever bullet point it gave you and then going back and say, oh, okay, I really like this one. I really mm-hmm. want to implement this one. Expand on it for me. Let's say that one of those bullet points was to send a welcome letter when you hire someone. Okay. Yep. Let's use the opportunity to share some information about the history of your business in that letter. Okay. So I'm going to tell the uh, artificial intelligence a little bit about the background of the business. And I'm going to say, put together a template that I can use for an email, a welcome email to my staff that's going to be informative, that is going to give them uh, maybe an actionable um, thing to do. Maybe I want to refer them to some videos. How about this, Erica? I'm trying to, I'm trying to beef up my onboarding um, um, process, right? How about I say to the artificial intelligence, what are some videos that I can create Mm -hmm. that I can implement in my onboarding um, system yeah. that will make it better. You know what yeah. I mean? And it will give you a script. Yeah. It's just what you ask it for. So basically, I, a lot of resistance to this are, the, of course, the bad actors in this space. You're always going to have somebody who's doing some bad things. But I'm talking about harnessing the intelligence that is out there in the internet. Right. Okay. And it's just put in a package where we can yeah. ask it questions. Yeah, it's kind of scanning. Like yeah, it's scanning everything for you and saying, "Here's yeah. what I found." Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So let's think about. We've talked about how you can use it with staff. How mm-hmm. can we use a? And we talked about what, how we could use it as directors. How can we use it with families? How can we use AI the for the families? Yeah. Okay. So using our last example as a motto, how about we have a welcome letter that goes out to the families, but let's back it all the way back up. Why don't we use it to help us figure out our customer journey? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, since the first point of contact usually is either a phone call or maybe a message, help me create a script for the message that the parent would hear when they first call my call uh, call the child care okay yeah so i'm gonna have an instructional uh script that will be welcoming Uh to whoever's calling in i'm gonna tell them how we'll be getting in contact with them um what what the business is about so it's starting right from the first point of contact all the way through yeah maybe i'm gonna ask it what would be the most effective way to make a conversion and have them enroll in our program. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What would be the highlights, the big points to bring out? Uh-huh. What should I ask them? What yeah. should I ask the parents? Um, I have a, a checklist in my shop that is a bestseller because it's questions that the provider should ask the parents. The parents always sure. come questions. Yeah, but we should be asking some questions. Yeah, too, yes, amen, right? girl. You got right because <laughs> that is a relationship, and it needs to work yes. for both parties, right? right? Not every customer is the right customer for you. Just now, like it. every child care is the right, the right one for the family, it right? Loud. It is. It but is a relationship. 
Yeah. You're not going to know that unless, like you said, you start the relationship off right by let's get some information on who we're dealing with. Okay. And, and, and you know, it is helpful to them as well. It's helpful yeah. to the client as well, because we don't want, they don't want to be where it, it's not going to work best for them. And we don't want a client that is not going to work best for us. This is not the environment for them. I talk to providers all the time and I'm saying, yeah. you know, understand who your target audience is, who you're trying. We're not trying to enroll families that want hours after we're closed. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? It's very yeah. simplistic, but if you don't ask, you don't know, you just presume this is where the problems come. In. Yeah. So there's so many ways, so yeah. many ways. Yeah. And I think we probably could have this conversation for quite some time. So, yeah. um, I think if people want to know more, cause we're going to be running out of time. I can't even believe it. I could literally talk to you all day. Wow. And I, I know, <laughs> right. And, um, I think we will have you back on our show. Cause I think well, there are a lot of things that we could talk about. Um, yeah. It's going to be like girlfriend talk over here with the cup of yeah. tea, right? Because let's say we're going to dish the dish, right? We know, we know. We've been around, we've been around a while. These well, crazy years, we've earned yes. them. Um, so I, we have some exciting stuff to share. So tell folks about your new AI course that you have um, sure. out now on thrivingchildcare.com. Tell folks a little bit about it um, before we wrap up. Thank you, Erica. I would You're love welcome. to. So in the course... I actually walk uh, providers through how to get comfortable on these platforms, how to set up accounts. And um, I talk about the different platforms that there are, because there is more than just chat GPT. Okay. There's some that are a little bit more intuitive. There's some that are a little more user friendly, um, but to get used to coming into the platform, how to get there and, and asking some sample questions, asking it, um, what it can do as far as putting together an ad, putting together a job description. I, I go a job through description? these processes. I mean, who's job... hiring? Nobody's hiring in child care right now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and yeah. so this helps us to be consistent in our business <laughs> and make our business better. If we want to even look at uh, um, a year, five year and 10 year plan. So that's what I get into in, in the course. And the course is, um, it's not a long course, it, it but it's very, very um, user-friendly as far as introducing providers onto these platforms so that we can, you know, harness, harness this information to help us grow our own businesses. Um, there's so many different ways. So this is, this is the introduction to um, using AI in your childcare business. Um, and I love too that it's specifically for childcare because there's lots of yeah. AI courses out there, right? Specifically for childcare, designed right. by somebody who has run mm -hmm. their own childcare, continues to right. coach and help and mentor many okay. other childcare providers. Four hundred okay. products. I mean, you know, you've been around. You you know your stuff. So I love yeah. that, which is why I can get behind it. Um, yes. So yeah, because I don't get behind everything. So I, which is why I can get behind Thank it. Um, yes. Yeah. So for our listeners today, if you're interested in the course, you're going to go to www.thrivingchildcare.com. You're going to put in a special code so that Adrian knows where he came from. Um, it is <laughs> Child Care Podcast, all capital letters, um, when, you, when you sign up for the course. But um, I highly recommend that if you want to make your business better, if you want to save time, if you want to be able to do things that make your business stand out and a little bit more personable, because again, it's that infusion of the AI with your personality, with mm -hmm. your company's culture, vibe, core values, right. all those things that roll together, right? It isn't, we're just mm -hmm. going to make a, a form and just send it to anybody. It's all the things mm -hmm. that you do together that make you stand right. out and stand apart. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, um, tell folks too, uh, for the folks who might want to uh, learn a little bit more about your daycare Q&A. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah, them absolutely. about that. The um, the show airs um, live on Facebook every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Um, that's Pacific Standard Time. So it'd be 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we just get into some questions that our colleagues have. 
in their childcare spaces and um, the issues that they're dealing with and just try to provide a different outlook to give them, you know, something to, you know, bite on to should they ever be in the situation or, you know, because like you said, we've been around for years Mm -hmm. we've seen a lot. And sometimes you just, when you're in the moment, you can't conceive of what it is you really want to say or do. Yeah. And that, you know, can be in, in a professional or present yourself in the professional way that you want to. Um, so we, we get into that. I'm having so much fun with the show. And um, yeah, I'd invite your listeners to come over and visit us. Erica has yeah. actually been my guest host yeah, yeah. on the show, which was wonderful. And I'll have to have her back ex- again yeah. as well. Um, but we're getting into some really good conversations this year and, um, we're starting a series on universal pre-K and how to manage that. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm going to put my two cents in in there. We're going to do all the things there. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. (laughs) All right. So folks, uh, thank you so very much for tuning in today. This has been the child care directors podcast. If you like today's episode, please like subscribe, share, follow, tell all your friends. Um, We keep it positive. We keep it, you know, real here. And uh, we thank you so very much for your support. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.